Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on pelvis. As you know, the maternal pelvis, it is divided into two types. That is true pelvis and false pelvis. So, the true pelvis and false pelvis are divided by the by this pelvic opening. Okay. So, this is the false pelvis and this is the true pelvis. So, the boundary which is lined, uh, which is, uh, this is the pelvic brim. This boundary of the pelvic brim which is divided, which divides the true pelvis and false pelvis. What does this made up of from anterior to posterior? Just we will discuss on one side, okay. One side, the pelvic brim. This is the pelvic brim. It is divided based on pelvic brim. So, this pelvic brim has the following uh, landmarks, bony landmarks. It contains one, this is the upper border of pubic symphysis, that is one, okay. The second one is, it has the pubic crest, pubic crest. The third one, this is the pubic tubercle. Okay, this is the pubic crest, then pubic tubercle from anterior to posterior. And then there is a line here. So this is the pectineal line. Pectineal line. Okay, and then there is an eminence here on both the sides. This is ilio pubic eminence. Okay, this is the fifth one. Iliopubic eminence. And then there is iliopectineal line. Iliopectineal line. Okay. And then before iliopectineal line, there is sacroiliac articulation. So this is sacroiliac articulation okay and then there is anterior border of ala of sacrum okay and finally there is this is this one this is sacral promontory okay so these are the different boundaries for the pelvic brim. These are the different bony landmarks of the pelvic brim. What are they? Upper border of pubic symphysis, then pubic crest, pubic tubercle, pectineal line, iliopubic eminence, iliopectineal line, sacroiliac articulation, anterior border of ala of sacrum, and sacral promontory. Okay, now uh, let us learn about the false pelvis. Okay, first let us learn about the false pelvis. If you see the false pelvis, it is formed by the iliac portions of innominate bone. So, this false pelvis is limited above the iliac crest. Okay, it is present above the iliac crest. It has little obstetric significance. Okay, uh, the, what is the function? The function is to support. This is the function. The function of false pelvis is to support the enlarged uterus during pregnancy. It will support the enlarged uterus during pregnancy. Okay, now let us learn the boundaries of the false pelvis. So if you see, this is the Sacrum. Okay. Then this is the iliac crest.
okay what do you say anteriorly so if you see the false pelvis so this is the false pelvis all the area above the pelvic brim so this is the pelvic brim all the area above the pelvic brim is false pelvis what do you see in the false pelvis false pelvis posteriorly you have lumbar vertebrae because above the sacrum you'll have lumbar vertebrae right posteriorly you have lumbar vertebrae laterally you have iliac fossa right you can see this is the iliac fossa so laterally you will have iliac fossa and anteriorly you have anterior abdominal wall anterior abdominal wall so this is called as false pelvis now let us learn uh, about true pelvis so true pelvis is below this right below the pelvic brim that is called as true pelvis so what are the boundaries of true pelvis let me just draw the diagram again just a minute so the pelvis which is below the pelvic brim that is true pelvis so what do you see posteriorly you see sacrum and coccyx okay this is posteriorly anteriorly what do you see you see symphysis pubis okay and then the pubis bone okay so these are the main uh, landmarks which you see this is the true pelvis where the baby has to pass so in the front it measures 4 cm deep and in the back if you see it measures 11.5 cm deep okay this is sacrum and coccyx now for descriptive purposes if you see the true pelvis is divided into three major things which is pelvic inlet pelvic cavity and pelvic outlet so in our next class we will learn about the pelvic inlet so thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubts please comment it in the comment section if you feel something is inadequate in this lecture even then comment it in the comment section thank you for watching my lecture thank you